Through the city of Brownsville and the school district now working together to discuss the possibility of expanding Gladys Porter Zoo and considering using a middle school to make it all happen. Yeah, this is a story our Jorge Vela has been on all day today. He joined us outside of the public meeting at the district that's hosting all of this discussion that's happening tonight. Jorge, what are you learning? Yeah, city and district officials met along with Gladys Porter representatives to discuss the potential acquisition of Cummins Middle School. Earlier today, they discussed whether they would buy it. Right now, the city, the school district is meeting to discuss the issue. Now, right now, school is in session at Cummins Middle School, and it's the home of the district's career and technology program. The sale of the school could mean the programming moved to another campus. The district says there's no set price tag for the middle school, but one commissioner we spoke to told us moments ago the campus could sell for about $16 million, and the sale could happen as early this fall. Gladys Porter Zoo CEO Patrick M. Birchfield tells us their accreditation depends on the effort to expand as they need more space for larger animals like lions, sea lions, and tigers. Brownsville ISD Superintendent Jesus H. Chavez says he's looking forward to working with the city, but as long as the CTE program is not sacrificed for it. We're working closely with the city, but our, our first consideration, what is best for our students? And for our students, it's best that we continue the programming. So I don't want anybody out there to think that our program is going, going to stop. Our program will not stop, and we will move out of Cummings when there is a physical facility, a better facility that our students can move into. Chavez says his dream is to have a new state-of-the-art facility that offers the CTE program. The city says if a deal is reached, it will be one that ensures that no student misses a day of their career and technology curriculum. Now, after today's uh, meeting, there will be held another meeting at the zoo on Wednesday of next week. In that meeting, the city of Brownsville will provide more details about the expansion efforts and what it would look like. Reporting for you from Brownsville, I'm Jorge Vela.